New for 2025 is the Mimotion UK Mini 800, an affordable robotic lawnmower with advanced AI navigation and obstacle avoidance. Key features of this mower are UltraSense AI vision and RTK navigation, which allows for auto mapping, perimeter wire free operation, smart obstacle avoidance and flawless positioning. A great carpet like cut and the ability to create lawn patterns. Industry leading battery life on the Yuka Mini 800. Effortless app control. You can manage up to 10 custom zones. Enhanced mowing capability. With the 88 watt motor and five pivoting blades, you'll get a great cut. The Yuka Mini is a lightweight 10 kilogram design and with these advanced features, it has the ability to climb 24 degree slopes which ensures that it can tackle most residential situations. Emotion have really listened to their customers and identified that not everyone has huge yards and that those with the smaller yards and lawns want the same robotic convenience that's on offer, but at a lower price point. They've also recognised that customers in this market want hassle-free setup and they have answered that with adding auto mapping as one of the ways that you can set up a mowing area. In the box you'll get the base station RTK unit and pole which can be set up on a wall or on the ground near the station. You'll get all the parts and extension cables to customise your installation as well as the tools for installation and maintenance. You'll also get the mower itself which borrows much of its design from the previous Yuka. It has the features that you need for a great robotic mowing experience. Let's take a closer look. Now I did an unboxing and fortunately my camera wasn't working and I can't repeat that now but uh, what you do get is a base station, quick little bit of assembly there, just a few screws, it's not too hard. The unit itself and an RTK pole and RTK unit, which is actually meant for attaching to the wall. You've got a little thing here that you can see. You can do that to it, so. Um, but you can also put the spike in the end of it. It's a little bit different underneath. You don't have the dual discs. You have one disc with five blades on it now and a 88 watt motor which is more powerful than before and they've gone with two caster wheels at the front and similar drive wheels at the back. So this has got the cameras at the front to help with uh, AI navigation and obstacle avoidance. It also uses RTK to position itself within the lawn. On the top of the unit here we've got the rain detection sensor so it'll sense that there's rain. The uh, clip, you could have that clip in there and down for it to work properly. Here, you can't see it too clearly here, but that's the indication of your power. An emergency stop button. And down the bottom here, this is the Australian model. And the Australian model, the EU model, will do 20 millimeters all the way up to 60 millimeters. The uh, US version will start from 50 millimeters and I think it goes up to 90. Of course, you've got your buttons here that you can power it on. Uh, start, go home and go mowing. What's really great about this mower is that it will also do auto mapping. So you plug and play your base station, your RTK, make sure that that's all good, put it in there and set it to auto map for the area. And it does a really effective job. Put your base station in an area that's flat and has got open vision of the sky, about 90 degrees of sky. The triangular plug is your power supply and then plug that into your power source. Your RTK needs to be in a position of clear sky and I have enough clear sky in my position. Fix your base station with the screws supplied. You'll have an Allen key tool as part of the pack to help secure that. After you've fixed your base station, get your robot mower and put it in the base station and switch on the power and see if everything works all right. If it does, then connect the robot and the RTK via Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, it's really easy. And as you can see, I'm not doing anything and it's mapping itself. You'll have to create a map. By hitting the robot figure down the bottom right, you'll be able to do that. How cool! <laughs> Auto mapping will work really well with defined borders. And you can see that it is got an area in front of it. So it's using those cameras. I was really surprised about how pinpoint accurate the auto mapping was in the front lawn. Remembering that this is a lawn mower that's in beta testing and it's pre-production, it performed really well and really seamlessly with the app to get me going straight away. The next thing I did is I went and created my second zone, which is my backyard, which is some pretty wild kaikuya. And I did this using the manual mapping feature because I found it was a little bit too overgrown for the auto mapping to really work well. Next thing I did in the app, in the editing map section, is add a path between my two areas. 
this is a real cinch in the app it basically tells you what to do next so i was thankful for that because i'm not a super technical person okay the real test was would it go by itself around the map and path that i just made and get to the back lawn i put a few obstructions in the way and it just managed it so well and now it's going to start mowing my back lawn oh it's really working hard okay it's just cutting long blades off look at that keep going yes <laughs> yes it's such a good little winner Yes, I'm embarrassed to say that I got a little bit excited when it got going because this mower is a real little winner and, you know, it was the first time I was using a beta testing product that, uh, you know, I've done before and it's been quite a nightmare, but this experience was just fantastic. Momotion is just such a great company and with the third iteration of mowers, they're really seamlessly getting their stuff ready. So when this hits the market, I'm sure it'll be really good. I mean, look at the lines that it's making here. It's just such a neat mower. It's gone from about 50 50 mils down to about 30 mils. This is a 30 mil mo, and it's doing it really well. You know, for someone that's a lawn guy and he's really into his cylinder mowers, a lot of people sort of sort of wonder why I'm into the robotic mowers so much. I mean, they are just fantastic for a lot of people. This makes a lot of sense and saves you a lot of time. And considering the results are just getting better every year with these mowers and the price is coming down, it's a no-brainer. So this was the other test that I did. It's not the greatest shot, but this is the cross path that I did. I took the RTK off line. So basically it had no RTK and it still did it. And then when I put the RTK back on, it made its way back home through the path, no problems. And look, it even has a light for doing night mowing because this can work 24 seven, no problems whatsoever. It's whisper quiet, so why not? What a fantastic product and idea. was given to me to test in December 2024 which I did and I couldn't release this video till the 7th of January 2025 when it's going to be released at CES. For a beta testing product it was just a seamless experience and I didn't expect that so this is going to be very good once it's released properly. For the ordinary suburban house in Australia with a front and backyard this makes a lot of sense and this is going to attract a lot of people so I'm really keen to see what pricing they come out with for these mowers because it's really going to get a lot of people into the AI robotic mower market which is traditionally a bit expensive seeing as it's fairly new technology but it's starting to trickle down and starting to make a lot of sense for a lot more people. I had a great time testing this product. Of course I didn't get to go through all the functions and the scheduling and everything like that in an eight minute video but this is just a general overview just to give you an idea if you're in the ballpark for this kind of mower. And I think Momotion have really ticked the boxes fantastically in all departments there, and they've got a great product. If you've got some value out of the content today, be sure to like and subscribe because I'll be doing more Yuka videos in the future. Good luck with this product, Momotion. I've had a pleasure testing it for you and giving you feedback, and I think you'll do very well.